All right, folks, now the Gematria research continues, and I just love making videos so much and talking so much that I'm just going to leave this thing running while I do it, because uh, it's fun making videos, and it's fun um, recording research and uh, speaking your mind regarding what you're seeing for the glory of God, and uh, so I'm going to record this stuff. So this is cool. We are solving gemstones. Um, for the glory of God and uh, we are seeing amazing things and we've already saw, seen a lot but I'm just gonna do another pass through some of this glory fest and uh, see if there's anything else that uh, we find <laughs> oh man so we uh, started with blue we went on a tear on the blue guys and I'd almost like to go from the bottom up because we kind of ran out of gas that first round. It was an, an awesome marathon. <laughs> um, but here comes, okay, so if I feel like I've solved something to my satisfaction, I'm just gonna pass over it. Um, wow, there's a new one, that was cool. It's, studying is awesome. Like, learning is so cool. You get your fami familiarity and you just mastery, it's so cool. A water sapphire, are you kidding? hitting me that is such a cool name for a gem because water is father and sapphires of course Jesus and oh it's iolite which we solved for father the other day I just um, this is research in motion for those of us joining so water sapphire so is Iolite, is it Iolite? Is that the, um, because I would like to memorize this. Folks, familiarity is extremely satisfying. Um, like God knows everything and that's so, um, I'm looking for the correlation between this and Iolite. It's not even on this web page. What's the correlation? Oh, Iolite Strong Pleochorism earned it the misleading trade name of Water Sapphire, a name now obsolete. Okay. So Water Sapphire is an old name. But Iolite is... Um, Iolite comes from the Greek word for violet, ios. Cool. Very, excuse me. Um, ooh, a geologist. See that? You, you just got to keep getting more familiar. It's just, you be patient with yourself and it's familiarity. Geologist is father, plus one. In nine letters, 18 strokes, just like father, all divides by three. Okay, so we're solving everything for the name above all names, Father, for those just joining us. It's a revelation. It's a massive revelation from God that this name, Father, is the greatest name of all, above all names, and to which all names point in his sovereignty. So, geologist is a fabulous plus one. And look at the parallelisms between Father. You've got double book ending in multiples of three. Okay. I hope my zoom level, I'm just going to leave it here. You can hear my voice, you can see the letters. I'm not going to zoom in and out. It's just, look at how glaring this is. You have triple book, book ending in threes. It's a total match, father and geologist. So your heavenly father is the greatest geologist of all time. That is riveting to me. Like just the numbers and the parallelism right there. Good night. There, I just solved every geologist in less than a few seconds for the glory of one name. The name above all names, Father. Father God. Woo! It's a good morning already. Okay, so, and the more you look, the more you see 24 is like, this is 24, 24 flanking. And then there's a gorgeous love. You know, there's your half love bookends. There's your L-O, other half love at the center. Good night. It's flawless. So, Father owns the word geologist. We are being mini-geologists here as we study gems. <laughs> we, now, 
put on your geologist hat and this is awesome okay so um, <laughs> oh boy what is the meaning of and so iolites okay um, cool wow even the uh, this name is plus one father just like iolite is plus one father okay so all right, so we, um, I always like, uh, you know, after we solve something, reward yourself with a little image search of it and just, you know, remind yourself of what you just solved. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I like. Absolutely beautiful. And a gorgeous offset from father in six letters. So you're just you're just jumping on God's back, like a piggyback. You're just saying, Father, what are you prospering? What what names are you prospering? Iolite. Okay, let's study Iolite. Good. I'm getting it. Father. Iolite. Let's dwell from Father. So, and then you, so to find Father, I've already done Iolite before, but. Uh, you can get father 58 exactly just by popping off the L12 and the rest equals father. But it's offsets of sixes for the trinity, and I've talked about that. Okay, let's keep going. So we solved iolite. Okay. Um, Idocraze equals Jesus. Oh, my gosh. Like, I'm going slow here because um, depth and... Um, slowness and taking a long time in one thing is the most satisfying way to journey. Um, this is amazing. I got. I don't even. I. I didn't even know Ido craze until now. So we're learning, which is good. So, um, let's first do an image search. What is Ido craze? But I, all I know is that Ido craze equals Jesus, and its numeric design of the letters is flawless in its parallelism of Jesus. Wow. That's a beautiful piece. Um, so, uh, okay, so what is it called again? It's called um, Ido Craze. Maybe I'll put it into Wikipedia and okay, so it's bringing up another name. Three fast. Is a green, brown, yellow, blue silicate mineral? How, why did I get the name Ido Craze? Because that's what's. Um... Interesting. Well, Ido Craze equals Jesus in the design. 3 plus 1 is 1 plus 2, and the rest divides by 3. Ido Craze. There you go. Just Jesus is Lord. Ido Craze. Jesus is Lord. This is his story, and you're a part of it. So you're just doing some gem hunting for Jesus. And so I'll show you the obvious. An S is an S, and E is an E. And then what you should do is note that these two plus ones parallel the D and the S. Okay. And then the rest divide by three. And um, if you want, you can go more detail. For example, this C and R equals the U, 21. And then... Um, you could put, this is really cool actually, the, um, a D plus an I equals the J, and then an O plus a D equals an S. That is amazing. Letter for letter. Letter for letter, value for value. We flawlessly got J-E-S-U-S -S from Ido Craze. Look, a J is an I plus an A. An E is an E. 
an S is a D plus an O, a U is a C plus an R, and an S is an S. So if I was to complete this painting with colors in all satisfaction, and, and these things will be, I am prophesying that these words will be correlated with Jesus in precious stones, and this will be done in artwork all over the world. So there's a full painting of Jesus, flawless for idocrase. There it is. That, that's just what he ordained. And then now you marvel like me. We are marveling together. Jesus. Idocrates. There it is. There it is. <laughs> um. Idocrates. Jesus. So now I prophesy that these stones will have J-E-S-U-S -S written on them in the future with the math with Idocrates written on them. And then they will be given as gifts to people all across the country with the name Jesus written on them. And people can check the math and the history books and say, my goodness, Jesus actually is sovereign over this perfect story and this is all flawless. Just like a gem cutter wants a flawless stone, Jesus is writing this story. He wants flawless names that point to himself. He's the king, okay? This is, you know, flawless stone work. Jesus, Idocrates. Jesus, Idocrates. Jesus, Idocrates. There's lots of them. But you should make the gift more satisfying by carving the name Jesus into this. See, wasn't that satisfying? We went deep. We appreciated. We saw the beauty of it. It's baking into our brain. This is worshipful stuff. Idocrase Jesus. Idocrase equals Jesus. Put his name on it. Go and buy one for a friend. Point them to this video. Start an awakening. And now the treasure hunt is on for everyone. That was just one of thousands of names. So let's keep going. So we did Idocrase. We did Iolite. Bang. That was satisfying, wasn't it? Idocrase Jesus. And just done. It's been solved on the lips of men. We are making history. We don't turn back time. We keep going. Isn't that amazing? Two huge gems already this morning. Father and geologist. By the way, today is the 22nd of September. It's another plus one day. 22 is plus one over 21. Great day for father. Plus one. <laughs> All right. Let's keep going. We did topaz before. We did tourmaline before. Um, tourmaline is plus two in grand total parallels Christ. Very flawlessly. I'm going to keep going. I'm just curious, though, if you did a... Um, this is so cool. Tourmaline. Yeah, that's beautiful. I'm going to keep going for now. Teal topaz. I always wanted to take a look at... Teal is Christ in its design. Um, and gorgeously so. Teal topaz. That makes flawless sense. Okay, let's keep going. Um, ooh, another eight. Tanzanite, zoazite. Father. That's an obvious father gem right there. Zoazite. Um, come on, let's get up there. Really? How come it's coming up with this watermelon tint here? That is really neat, though. Really? Watermelon? Huh. Okay. No That's pretty cool. Alright, well, let's just... Okay, I've done topaz and blue topaz already. 
spinal. I'll just quickly brush up on Zor's a bit. Oh, so it's a type of Zor's a. <laughs> Tanzanite is used as relatively cheap gemstone. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Both those are plus two, but crazy. All right, let's. I, I like. I want to stick with slightly more famous names first. Um, spinal is easy. Um, oh man, I, I feel led to mention find love in spinal, and I love it when the Holy Ghost gives me this one. And he's been telling me to find love for a long time. But look at the love that you find in the word spinal. It's, it's, of course, it's the same love you find in your spine, like your spine, your back. It's, it's the S, P, and the N, and the E is love. And what's special about that is it's a pair of plus ones matched with a pair of plus twos in that order to make love perfectly. And then the other letters divide by three. So can you find love in your spine? I feel like I'll zoom in just to twitch. You know what I should do? If I'm, what I'll do... Because I will just enlarge the font of this. I'll just pick it up from this enlarge the font on this page. Because this is where we do the letter analysis and the gem cutting, if you will. Should have done that, but okay. That's fine. Maybe yeah, it's about good for now. Um and um I could go a little larger. 22 in honor of this 22nd day. So, there's your love in spinal. And, uh... When something is that... I mean, spinal. You're just like, God is sovereign. <laughs> the human spine is a pretty awesome word and you find love in it, man, there's some... Really? Man, gemstones start to look similar after a while. <laughs> You're just like, wait a minute. <laughs> All these... Oh, that's cool. <laughs> You're just like, I can't stop looking at them. Um, okay. <laughs> Spinal. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. So what is this? Wiki. Spinal. So lots of colors, eh? Um yeah, there's there's all sorts of colors, like every color in this There's the spinal group of minerals. Hmm. Wow. Gemologist. Wow. Okay, well, it's a big word. You can... It's fun to get technical with the scientists for a little while. Hmm. 
So this is the general formula. Are any class of minerals with general formulation So a pair of metals and then O4, the cubic isometric crystal system. Huh, the word lattice and matrix are both plus one father. And very beautiful. Matrix is 85, lattice is 70, both in 15 strokes, right by 3. Yeah, that's glaring. Like, if I could point out the obvious of how the father owns the word lattice, and you can do the matrix for homework. Look at this. The T and the T at the dead center differ by 12 from the TH. Obvious, beautiful 6s. That gives the 12 offset from father, and then everything else is pure sixes, no less you have your AE in order, which makes six there, and then this is 12, double six, this is 12, double six, this is 18, triple six, this is six, so team blue is 24, that is absolutely simple and absolutely perfect. I've just proven mathematically that the Heavenly Father owns every single lattice in the history of latticehood, which is probably quite long. It's a lattice, folks. That's basically what makes any crystal crystallography. That's amazing, and then this guy's name divides by six, so that'll maintain the offset from father and pure gorgeous sixes, 84 no less. Even his first name is father, so his full name as written is father. Okay, a lattice is like a grid. <laughs> it's a pattern and we solve the word pattern and lattice. That's simple enough for me. Okay, I've, we've solved the big words for now. Um. It's a lattice. Simply put, it's a lattice, also known as a matrix. <laughs> it's a repeating pattern of dudes <laughs> that are aligned. <laughs> okay, that's what it is. It's a repeating pattern of dudes that are in order and aligned and repeat it, <laughs> okay? So, um, but I like solving lattice, the word pattern is um, his father as well. And uh, yeah, pattern is plus one for father. In fact, look at the obvious for between pattern and father. There's, look at pattern and lattice. <laughs> Isn't this just, isn't this embarrassing once it's your eyes, once you know how God is at work? There it is. There's your pattern in your lattice. Who own, who created, who is sovereign over the word pattern and the word lattice and then an F makes multiple of six. Good night. It's like, I could have painted these different colors. You get the idea. It's flawless. Father, pattern, father, lattice, God the Father. 
Okay. And then matrix works and we solve. Okay. So spinal. Cool. Um, okay. Let's. I'm here to solve the names first. That's cool. Um, Labradorite. That's fine. Spectrolite is kind of a fun name. Plus one father. That's cool. Let's see what kind of beauty it is. If it's really exceptional. Wow! Now I know why it's called Spectrolite. That's one of my favorite names for a gemstone. Spectrolite. Because it's rainbow. Oh boy, we were on a tear yesterday when we solved rainbow for father and kaleidoscope for father and um, pearl for father and uh, all these spectrolite. And then spectrum is father and palette is father and color palette is father. Well, this is a gem. Pun intended, but not really. S gem. Look at that. That is spectrolite. And what a good name for it. I would be very happy if someone gave that to me <laughs> with a little bit of love behind it. Um, Spectrolite. That is such a cool name for a stone. Because it contains two very famous, like the word spectrum is father and the ending it is father. Spectrolite. Spectrolite. A rainbow colored stone. Spectrolite. <laughs> Yours for free on YouTube or on Google. Okay, so it's called Spectrolite. Spectrolite is father. So I can't resist doing a little. So Spectrolite. And then um, what are some other words? For, I had this the other day. Other words for palette. Mm, this will work here. In other words for word hippo maybe has some. In other words for spectrum. Oh, here we go. Um, I kind of looked at this already. We looked at this already and it wasn't, um, okay, maybe here. Scope is a good one. Scope equals father. The full spectrum, father. Scope equals father. Extent is gorgeous. Spectrum, shade, rainbow. These are plus ones, so rainbow is plus one for father. Um, beautiful shade, plus one. Okay, that's good enough. For us. So this is spectral light. Spectro, Spectrolite was initially a brand name for Material Mind in Finland. That's so cool. People will take the word and run with it, you know. If they like the word, it will, like, God is sovereign, so... Um, we are looking at the Wikipedia page here for... It's hard to keep a good zoom level for all this. And, um, I'm trying to be as respectful as I can, especially. Sp 
spectral light. It's very pretty. Spectral light, but it's father. Mm -hmm. Full spectrum of colors, father, father. And colors is father, you should add the U always. Iridescence. Oh, that's a beautiful word for father. I can't. What on earth? Why is this coming up here? <laughs> that's creepy. I've never had a pop up from my internet service provider. Um, <laughs> what is the world coming to? Um, so, <laughs> we are looking at the word. So, look at all these father words. Memorize this. These are king words that God ordained for the name above all names. Spectrum. Colors. Kaleidoscope. Rainbow. Obviously a favorite. Um, I feel like I wanted to memorize. Um, spectrum. Colors. Rainbow. And then iridescence. And iridescent is gorgeous. Okay, spectrolite, spectrolite, father, spectrolite, father. The simplest thing is always to bump off the two plus twos in the center and then just shoot for sixes. Oh man, here, here it's just coming to us. There's the bookends, 24 apiece. Good night. Um... And then this P, oh man, this is amazing. This PEC makes another 24, just like that 24. And then you got this pure cluster bomb of threes in here, containing a, it's love flawlessly, like L-O half love flanked and half love. It's just love sitting right there. And in pure sixes and twelves, and this is six. And so it's all very happy and obvious. <laughs> Who owns Spectrolite? It's the Father. God the Father owns your Spectrolite. And uh, that is absolutely awesome. I'm just trying to get this. How can I make this a little more pleasing for the camera? Maybe just move this in here. Sure, we'll kind of do that from... If that makes any sense somewhat very cool so spectrolite has been aptly and lovingly solved for the father and it's a very gorgeous mineral spectrolite you heard it here first and look at how beautiful these suckers are they are absolutely rainbow-esque um, and the word, anything that's rainbow, I really pay attention to because God has that market cornered, the word rainbow. And there it is, spectrolite, solved for the Father. Pretty awesome. Um, oh, yeah, iridescence and soap bubbles. Yeah, iridescent is another word for rainbow. Um. And then so iridescence and iridescent are both father plus one. You can do a quick check of those. Um, in fact, I you know iridescence is such a huge um, word for beauty in this world. Like you got bubbles, you got you know shimmering oil, rainbows. What is that? I don't even know what that is. Fish tank, off of glass. Iridescence is the word used to describe all this beauty in nature. The rainbow effects on wings, clear things, iridescent wings, iridescent beetle, um, 
Oh my gosh, iridescent peacock. <laughs> Birds of paradise, hummingbirds, parrots, starlings, kingfishers, ducks, peacocks, human eyeballs, uh, basically everything that's pretty uh, in all of nature is iridescent, I'm thinking. <laughs> Seashells, wow. Okay, that's one of the prettiest things I've ever seen in my life. Like, not joking. <laughs> In terms of like a rock from nature, that is actually one of the prettiest things I've ever seen in my entire life. Um, bismuth crystal with a thin iridescent, iridescent layer of bismuth oxide. So rainbow father, iridescent father. I, man. Yeah, it's, it's like, do you want something pretty? We'll get something iridescent. A CD, classic example. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> the good old paint job. That is winning. An iridescent nail polish. Incidentally, the word glitter, uh, for all the ladies out there, and for any artistic gentleman that understands the beauty of all things, glitter is a father word. Very good. Now, most, most people of, of all types understand the beauty of glitter. But women in particular can't seem to get enough glitter. But glitter is a father word, just like rainbow, and just like iridescent, and just like colors. Um, cool. You just wait for it and see if any other words come to your mind. Interestingly, the word nail polish. Nail polish is also father. Polish is father. Should we solve all nail polish for... Uh, it's amazing how as you just spend time, just nail polish is a big one. Um, Multi-billion dollar industry, big part of beauty. When I see a woman that's put, in, that's put good effort into the nails or done something creative that I like, I'm like, it, it says a lot. It says you care about the details. It, it's amazing to me how when someone cares about the details, there's something that just speaks to you, okay? Person has some patience, person cares, okay? So it's not so much that her nails are like jumping out and, and dazzling you, it's the fact that she cared to take care of them. Okay, so... Um, I'm, yeah, I'm in love with the word iridescent, so there's a couple things that came to us here. So we want to solve all nail polish in the name of the Father. We can solve everything polish. We can solve all glitter in the name of the Father. Um, you can solve, I'm just going to modify this inset. I, whenever, oh, come on. Don't be like that word. Oh, you, like, come on. I just want to get this a little more pleasing for the camera. That's fine. Um, and then, of course, ir is it two R's? We'll find out. I think it's one. Yeah, it's one R. Um, very easy. You don't have to do both of them, but it's. I'd like to point out that the, the difference, this is so cool, because the difference between a T and a CE is 12 points, and that I mean, is your offsets of sixes from father. And that's why you, you say it's iridescent or that's lovely iridescence. Okay, so the, the two differ by 12. It's offset of sixes from the name above all names father. Now you know why. Okay, it's very simple. Uh, but <laughs> I can't resist solving all the world's nail polish right now. This is so cool. This is so glaringly beautiful, it's not even funny. This is going to blow your mind. The two plus twos in nail polish are flawlessly at the bookends, which corresponds perfectly with the dead center, with the TH at the center of father. Okay. Now, you can also do this with the word mother, but father is the name above all names. He is the creator God. But your mother, maybe use nail polish. Okay, anyways. Um, but N plus H, difference of six is there. Um... And then you just shoot for sixes on the bottom. Now what's really cool is the three letters that are plus one on the bottom 
add perfectly to six times six. <laughs> Good night. And then just keep scooping up sixes. Um, an I plus an I is 18, which is of course, uh, oh yeah, okay, 18, right? And then an L and an L is double six coming in. And then the O near the center is three times the third prime. He's kind of special, three fast all by himself. And then father's pure six is surrounding it. Very simple, okay. Um, good stuff, glitter. And then you can compare father to glitter, it's pretty simple. This this is a cluster bomb with offset of six there at the end, and then this A differs from a G by six, and um, and then the F divides by three, just like these two. Okay, done, iridescent, you can do the same thing. Why not compare the NT with that, and then shoot for sixes on this, very obvious. Um, sixes right there, quadruple six right there, and then another 12. Um, right here. Very, very obvious how father owns iridescent and iridescence. Okay. Uh, and I would like to point out the other obvious detail that the number of plus twos in iridescent and iridescence is precisely four. And then the number of plus ones is precisely two. Okay. And the rest of the letters divide by three uh, flawlessly. Okay. And this is precisely uh, the match of um, uh, God's name, Father. Okay, so um, where in Father you had three plus twos, a single plus one, and uh, two letters that divide by three. So perfect parallelism. Father owns the word iridescent and iridescence, and thereby all things named by them, which is quite a lot of beauty, as we uh, saw here. Beetle was, beetle is flawless, the word beetle is flawless for father, same design, and uh, cool. All right, well that was, see that, we solved nail polish in this video. <laughs> the glitterati. The glitterati would be father too. Alright. Okay. I think we hit that one out. Particles, Father, Confetti, I remember what was Christ. Sequence. Alright, let's get back to our gemstone hunting. That was awesome. We solved Spectralite. Very, very cool. Alright, so here we are back at. Alrighty. Um, so we solved topaz, sodalite, labradorite. We solved spectralite, which was awesome. More rainbow, which that came out there. Sodalite, another flawless father gem. Um, I just want to see how famous it is. Man, that's beautiful. You know, once you know that blue is like God's favorite color, and that blue is father, and sky and sea are blue, like mathematically. That's why I'm in the blue zone, like with blue gemstones, because I, I knew there was going to be a ton of father names in blue gemstone land. And so Sodalite is another, very. it's a, quite a nice sea blue. In fact, oh my gosh, the more you look, the more you see. God is perfectly sovereign. Look, the word sea is perfect trifork in Sodalite. S-A-E, the sea. Remember, C is blue is plus is plus one for father. Parallels the color blue. Soda light, blue, and that, does that not look like the blue of the sea? It's it's a nice sea blue. Like I wouldn't choose any other word to describe that blue other than sea blue. It even has these, you know, flecks of lightness and darkness in it, like waves when they curl and um, 
the water is whipped up in uh, choppiness. That, that is a sea blue, soda light. And in the sovereignty of God, the name contains the letters C, as in the C, S-A-E, in a trifork position for the Trinity. And then what's amazing, on top of that, you have the DT24, an IO24, and an L double 12. This is like my new favorite gem. You see how you need to you need to slow down, kids. Like you need to slow down and study because the glory of God is maximum in everything that is named in world history. You gotta slow down and milk it to get happy. And you'll see it. Okay, you just stare at it, wait for the Holy Ghost inside of you to give you more revelation. And you'll just be like, I am so in love with sodalite. I need to give one to a friend. Okay. Um, there it is. Soda light is like a light soda. It tastes good on your eyes. And um, soda light, like the sea. But it is what it is, and it has the name that it does for the glory of your Father who is in heaven. Incidentally, pay particular attention to words that have A-E for Father in it. So, you can have countertops of this stuff. Um, interestingly, the word countertops, plural, is also Father. Soda light countertops. Apparently, they're all the rave. It's, a, it's an act of worship to zoom out and recognize how important this word is and how huge this word is all over the world. Soda light. Jewelry. Okay. Soda light. Wow. Very pretty pieces. That is exceptional. That is an exceptional piece. Wow, soda light. It's but it's like the sea. Like once you see something done well, okay, its excellence is what it is. It's love is what it is. Soda light is like the sea. Okay, but it exists for Father. Okay, there's all people people out there that collect gems and they wear these things and they have a sense, you know, in the sovereignty that you know they is. I don't want to go there. It's like, I'm here to say that Father owns all this. They're, you know, okay, worship Father, Jesus the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And the gem is a beautiful gift in, in love. Like, that's, okay, so let's, this is so cool. I am in love with Sodalite. People say, oh, I want to fall in love. Well, you have to spend time with the person or activity or item that you're with. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Familiarity results in love. You like as you get to know soda light, you'll like it more. Like it's like as you get to know a person, you 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 will probably fall in love with them. Like it's just it's just, just not rocket science. It's like, oh, you just need to spend time. Spend time at one thing with one person and you will enjoy it. Okay, so here we go. Soda light. I I soda light. Okay, so the C. The word C is there. It's blue like the C. And then this is your 24. It's 24, 24, and then 12. Good night. It's glaring. And then, of course, SE is 24. Like, this is just soda light for Father is obvious. So Father's book ended in 24, and we've already said enough. <laughs> it's, like, embarrassing. Uh, but the fact that it's, like, the C... Um, and then other details. Why does this silly program keep resetting my... And then why does... And so to light. The other obvious thing is that the plus twos are near the end. The plus ones are at the front. Just like the word follow. Okay, the more you look, the more you see. I, I can, I've seen quite a bit. So to light, blue, like to see. Um, father. But I'm basically absolutely convinced at this point that the Father's favorite color is blue. Absolutely. Based on every observation, every word, all the math, 
and even human popularity. I am absolutely convinced that the father's favorite color is blue. I'm absolutely convinced of it. <laughs> and that's why I'm really slowing down for all these, um, these blue words and blue gemstones and soda light. Soda light father. There, see, if someone gave that to you, you would appreciate soda light a little more, wouldn't you? <laughs> You'd be like, oh, okay, okay, soda light. Well, I guess I'll look this up now. Um, Okay, well that was awesome. And so the, the, the best thing that I liked about the God-ordained word sodalite is that it contains the word C in a perfect trifork, S-A-E, which is one of the easiest words to offset father, and then bookended with 24. Um, you can point out other things for father and sodalite. For example, the A and the E are in order, just like in Father. Um, T is a T. 